We apologize for the inconvenience, Mrs. Malfoy, but the Ministry can never be too careful. Well, it's good to see the Ministry taking this threat seriously. I trust I won't be detained too long. I do have family business to attend to. We just wanted to ask you a few questions in light of your husband's impending promotion. Of course. With the recent treachery, I can imagine you want to be as thorough as possible. Yes. We also want to make sure no member of our staff is being influenced by an outside source. I can assure you, Lucius makes all of his own decisions. He hasn't come into contact with any artifacts which may have altered his perception? No. He's barely had any time to himself, what with all the preparations. For the new position? Of course. What about you? Your family wouldn't happen to have any artifacts? They may have. But I cut all ties with my family since this war started. I see. Not even your sister Bellatrix Lestrange? Not since school. Seems like a lot of your schoolmates have been busy. Both Bellatrix and even young Severus Snape have been spotted raiding villages, and have been looking for objects of seemingly mundane importance. What they do is their business. I find it hard to believe they have not reached out to you. Please mind your tone. These times have not been easy for any of us. Our families are being torn apart. I apologize. I imagine you are under a lot of stress. I can empathize. How can I help? Strokes Productions presents The Great Wizarding War. Written by Justin Zagri and Garrett Schwackhauser. Directed by Justin Zagri. Produced by Mick Ignis. Chapter 6 Passing Revelations. One. Two. Three! <laughs> Goyle, you need to concentrate on your focus. The spell goes where your eyes go. Now let's move on to something more subtle. I'm not much for subtle. I'd say we're a bit more. Brute force? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. What was that? Quiet. Now, line up. Excuse me, Professor Snape. Yes, Lucius. I think we know these spells quite well. I suggest with respect. <laughs> we focus on tactics with our next raid. Thank you, Lucius. I'll keep that in mind. Now, everyone in position for the next spell. We're going to focus on a hex. Severus! Did you not hear what I said? I thought I was done with school drama. I heard you perfectly fine, Malfoy. And I believe we still need training. Do you think they'll compare wands next? You know the Dark Lord is counting on us for his plans. They are of the utmost importance, and timing is of the essence. I'm well aware. Wasting our time here is going to delay his well-timed plans. My money's on Lucius. Smart money's on Snape. Are you merely going to repeat what we already know, Malfoy? You dare speak that way in my own house? All right, everyone, that's enough. Professor Frumenter. We're wasting time, Luther. If we don't... I know exactly the time we have and the ways we use it. We are on schedule. Really? Why don't you tell me why you weren't part of a last raid, or why you yourself aren't leading training? That will be enough, boy. Lucius, I need to talk to you. The rest of you, don't forget why you're here. Break for now. Is there something I can do for you, sir? Yes, actually. Will you join me in the courtyard? Of course. I am sick of that half-blood smug attitude. 
just because the Dark Lord favors him. Exactly, Lucius. The Dark Lord does favor him. And you aren't putting us in his favor by bickering. This is our house, Narcissa. And I invited the Dark Lord here to carry out his plans. You need to learn patience. Any word about the board or Wiesengamot? Not yet. So much chaos going around, everyone's too protective of their jobs. We'll find an opportunity, my love. Don't worry. I wish you were there with me on these raids. You could knock some sense into a few of them. <laughs> Perhaps. But I need to keep inquiring ministry minds quiet about rumors. Indeed. Mm. Bellatrix. Lucius. All our other groups across Britain are having their fun while we sit and wait in scheme and train. At your suggestion, if I remember. If we did things right to begin with, we wouldn't have problems. But we need to actually be doing things. Everyone else is mere distractions. We are the real plans. You conjuring up plans of your own, Mrs. Malfoy? Just keeping my eyes open for opportunities for my family. Remember your first family, sister. Training seems to be going well. For the most part. Hmm. A few dissenters. Uh, nothing that can't be managed. It's impressive. The group has been shaping up. Thank you, Professor. Oh, I'd love it if you quit calling me that. As far as I'm concerned, you and I are on the same standing. Now, I have some business. The Dark Lord has assigned me a special task. And I was wondering if you might be able to help. Of course. Good. When's the last time you've been to London? Darling, have you seen the bundle of shingles? Right behind you, dear. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> James, you got the nails? Coming up to you, Dad. Um, when Guardian... No, 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 my boy. Wait, wait. Le let's just do it by hand. Hmm? <laughs> Lots of nails in there. Right. Don't want to nail Whirlwind. <laughs> Here you go, Dad. Thanks, my boy. Serious Black, is that you? Morning, Mr. Potter. Is James here? Oh, he's inside, but come on in. I'll meet you there. Good to see you too, Peter. Mr. Potter. Serious, my boy, my boy. How are you, Mr. Potter? As well as an old man can be. Goodness, have you gotten even taller than before? Perhaps. I'll be hugging your shins at this rate. <sighs> hey, James. Serious? Um, we'll see you upstairs. Hmm? Uh, let us know if you need anything, young man. Thank you, sir. What are you up to? Made a mess. Cleaning it up. What's he doing here? He's going to help us out. Help with what? Finding Remus. Remus? Where's he? Oh, Merlin. Yeah. Was anyone hurt? Don't think so. Besides me, a couple of scratches. Listen, James, I think it's safe to say we all screwed up that night. But we can make up for it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Get the band back together. Maybe do something worthwhile. Like old times. I'm doing something worthwhile. Here. Yeah, that's true, but listen, I think if we find Remus... Look, mate, I think you should go for now. I'm going to be staying home for a while. Um, for how long? Long as I need to. All right, well, we're going to find him anyways. James? It would be nice to make amends with Remus. Don't. You can come by any time, Sirius. Right. James, what's going on? Something important's come up. More important than finding your friend. 
Yeah. He's doing better, by the way. His cuts were healed. Glad we got him to St. Mungo's. He wasn't anyone at St. Mungo's. Find me at my flat if you change your mind. Ready to start up again? Yeah, Dad. Thanks. Oh. Funny. School's barely been out a month, and Mr. Black already looks years older. Ah. Uh, I suppose Hogwarts takes a bit of our youth with it. Hmm. Afternoon. Welcome to London Natural History Museum. Tickets, please. Hello. We have special tickets under the name Frumenta. <sighs> Let me see. Let me see. Uh... No, nothing for Frumenta. Imperial. I believe we're expected. Ah, oh, yes, of course you are. How silly of me. Go on in. Not very subtle around these muggles. Ignorance is a virtue, and half the reason we get away with as much as we do. Besides, we won't be hiding much longer. Let's go. I do enjoy this place. My wife rather enjoyed the fossil area. Your wife? Indeed. Dragonpox. I'm sorry. Quite all right. Didn't mean to distract. What are we looking for? A very special plant. Something very pretty to muggles. Very useful for us. And what's it called? Bufane de Stitcher. That's it? Indeed. So what do you need me for? You, my boy, are a master of silent spells. Are you kidding? You taught me half the things I know, seventh year. Not nearly half. And I taught you focus and to enhance what you've already got. You've surpassed most wizards twice your age. Now, I could do it myself, but I have my own talents. And what is that? Charm and distraction. Excuse me. Professor? Stay focused. Excuse me, Billy? Welcome to London Natural... Wait, Luther? Billy Parkinson, good to see you. What brings you here? Why are you dressed as muggle security? Oh, I don't know, honestly. Moody has a spread out all over the city, even in muggle spots. You won't say why. I see. Well, it's good to see you again. How's the wife? She's well. She might be expecting. Hey, I know that boy. Which boy? That. Looks like Severus Snape. He was identified at a raid a few weeks ago. Really? What's he doing? Oh, I'm sure he's just looking around. So, your wife... Just a moment. Uh, would you mind coming with me to talk with him? It's... Absolutely. Ah, uh, I can assure you, there's no need for that. Come along. You, boy, with the plant, come with us. Professor? It's all right, Severus. I'm afraid I'll need your wands. Both of you. What were you thinking, deciding to take that plant? Had a nice look to it. Mr. Frumentar, please sit in the corner. I suspect you might be under the Imperious Curse. Well, I am feeling a bit light. I'm sure. Now, boy, you're gonna have to come with me. About a cadaver! Professor! Severus, I told you. I'm not fond of Professor. You just killed him! So I did. Why? Where did that wand come from? Unlike most wizards who get their wands disarmed, I keep a spare. It's not mine, of course, but it does the trick. What, why did you have to kill him? Why didn't you tell me your mask was removed during the raid? He knew about you, and by association was suspecting me. Had I done anything but kill him, my connection to the Ministry would be severed. This is the cost of our war. Is there a problem? No, sir. No. Good. 
Oh, um, transfigure him before we head out. Descendium. Ooh. I remember that entrance being bigger. Lumos. Hogwarts, Hogwarts, Huggy, Huggy, Hogwarts. Catch me something, please! Oh, oh bugger. You want to put that line out? Don't want to attract annoyances? Uh, never heard the armor talk before. Well, this one does. Sorry, it's dark in here. No need to light the holes. No students around. Right. You're looking for something? Not exactly. Well, unless you've got a purpose here, move along. Thanks. What the? Oh, thing of beauty, eh? Is that the sword of Gryffindor? It is! You gonna swing it? Oh, bloody hell. Hello, Peeves. Hello, Jimmy Jamie. Hex a kitty today. I'll hex you. <laughs> if you can catch me. <laughs> What's this doing here, anyways? I don't know. A couple of ministry folk brought it here on Dumbledore's orders. Wanted to give it a cleaning. I thought the sword didn't need cleaning. Well, maybe it was oil or something. It might be cleaning now! Peeves! <laughs> Damn it, Peeves! Bloody toss a soil my new coat job! <laughs> Should have seen me coming, Jamie. Not so tough now without your stupid map. The map? Bloody poltergeist. At least you didn't break the case with a sword. Right, well, I'm off. Figured out what you're gonna do. Yeah. Get what's mine. Now, let's keep this little venture between us, Cyphers. Deal? Yes, sir. Good. Dobby, get everyone together. We have our last raid to prepare. Well, yes, Master Luther. We're almost ready to begin. And I'll be joining you for this one. Begin what? We are going to take what belongs rightfully to us. And we will need your help more than anyone else. I hope you are ready, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> 